Hello everyone, welcome to the first uh, look and review of the new Dacia Spring. This is their cargo version uh, for delivering, you know, packages, parcels. So uh, there is a uh, extreme package uh, next to it. So we're just gonna do also a little comparison. Now checking the front, it looks the same, uh, but no radar at the bottom there. So if you look at the uh, bottom of that one, you can see the radar. Uh, the rest is pretty much the same, so we have a solid white color. Sorry for the top lights flashing, it's just on the camera, nothing I can do. Have the date and running lights, turn signals, bulbs, uh, and uh, warm lights on the bottom. So in this one it's just uh, black plastic, no copper details. We have the uh, unpainted plastic front lip extending uh, through the arches on the back and front. Air intake at the bottom. Then on the top, it's interesting, uh, we have this white uh, new Dacia DC symbol there. There's a charging port behind this, so it uh, kind of blends in the white car. Uh, the rest is pretty much the same. You still have the one wiper on the top. Um, there's a one washer nozzle, and you can see the side mirrors are in black. Uh, so these are not painted. So uh, you still have uh, same hubcaps and steel alloys so you can see uh, that one you have the painted side mirrors and door handles on this one it's just plastic and plastic fantastic just a little joke there this is just again a cargo vehicle so that's very basic uh, on this one you can see there's no sticker like on that one so i'm next to wall here but i'm going to show you the profile as much as possible Look at the alloys and then look at the back here so on standard dacha model you get this in white on the extreme package it's copper so otherwise it will be white so the white car really blends in you have the uh, bulbs as well so you have these uh, are the same you have the cat eyes and on the back unpainted uh, black plastic and then you have a smooth uh, dark gray finish there three parking sensors and it's more or less the same you can see that one has roof racks so this one is plain on the top now if you press to open you can see the cargo space so i'm gonna back up so you can see the whole car in perspective i'm a two meter tall person so it doesn't open too tall it's a small car now it is the same uh, and very plain on the top here you have the plastic pieces there and then voila this is the cargo space now the cargo version has this uh, rubberized step here so if you put in cargo you don't damage this I didn't notice that when I was reviewing the uh, extreme version there or any uh, of the standard models to be uh, clear now this is the view inside and you can see the cage on the top so here we have some information there and uh, that's the cage so at the bottom they added this carpeting so the things don't slide at the bottom even over there in the corner and over here they added some foaming so this is where the back seats would uh, be but there's no lights in the back so you can see both ends now there are openings here and here so for the uh if you want to put some net to fix your cargo now here to the loading area there's like five and then maybe seven or eight fingers to the loading area and then this cover can be moved like that. Then underneath you have, you see there's a little a stick there. You can put your charging cables, patching kit. Potentially you could remove this all and put a spare wheel, but they didn't provide one. So you can see those tethered points there. And then this is double side, so it's like textile. And then this is like plastic. So that is that. I think this is fixated there, so you can take it out. And you can see the doors are uh, just plastic there are still power windows here so that's that now let's close it up now checking the wheels these are 165 70 r14 same as on the this one now let me just show you comparison wise so this is how it looks uh, with the seats you can see that so on this model you do get a spare wheel so potentially you could add that and this is the same 
Now, showing you here from the side, so you can see how that looks. It's flat view at the back. And then uh, there is small space there. They've added here, they extended this going towards the window. So nothing flies to the front passengers. Now, let me show the profile here because it's definitely better looking, more room. Now, just a comparison and then I'll go to the front. So you can see the doors, all plastic. And here you have manual uh, mirrors. You have textile seats, you can see that. And no piano black here or here on the ground, the screen. So just a little comparison. I'm just gonna show you this one as well. So this is with the seats just for the comparison. And then you can see a little color, chrome, and then piano black, piano black. I think the steering's the same. This has a little color there, but, uh, and you have the leather seats there. So again, cargo version. Now let's get on the front. So doors open nice and wide. Again, this is just plastic, so no colors. Uh, pockets there, this is again manual. Have your light switch. Uh, there's no switch here for the uh, side mirrors that will be electronic in the other model. Now I'm gonna switch this off. So message for the lights. You have a speaker here, air vent. Uh, push up to slide back and forward. And then I think this is for the tilt. And you have the basic cloth seats. You at the top. So let's jump inside. Now, closing up. So there's a big rattle sound. Okay, yeah, I can tilt a little bit. I can go maybe slightly forward, then I can tilt a little bit more if you're a taller person. And uh, let me switch to wide lens. So there we go, that's the point of view going back. So it's the same steering wheel, but this one's plastic. I'm not sure if the other one's uh, leather. We're gonna check that out. I think it might be, this is uh, just rubber. Uh, same cruise settings and voice commands. That's it. Light switch, uh, wiper controls. So this one has a little silver instead of the copper. There is a speaker there. And you can see the dash. So this one doesn't have piano black and it looks pretty nice without the piano black. Power on volume usb and aux touch screen uh for some reason it's off power windows hazards eco and lock unlock the car you have a seats not automatic because even that one is not automatic but it's okay ac on or off uh open or close air circulation defrost the rear and fan speed air direction uh you have this one physical key cylinder there uh, now this one, you, let me see, when you open the doors, I think it turns on. Yeah, you can see, okay, so charging, eco, power, how much power you're using, and then uh, either neutral, reverse, or drive over there, and then the battery status on your right. And then you have the trip computer, you can press here to uh, check those. So that's it. Um, Underneath we have here GPS tracking. This is a speed limiter and uh, I think this is either speed limiter or cruise control. So this one might be speed limiter or cruise. I forgot which one's which. And you have the traction off, full little outlet, uh, a little space there, drive, neutral, reverse. Uh, you park with a manual handbrake. That's it. There is some room here. I think this is like a home charger. Actually, this is a Type 2 for the public charging station. There's a little plastic here. The rest is carpet. You can see that. And I can see the view from here. So, as I mentioned, they've added this. So, nothing flies on the side there. Um, this is nice and very big, deep inside. A lot of storage room. And there's a room for a front passenger. Um, have the documents holder. This doesn't extend, so it's very basic. Serves its purpose. I have the mirror, you go like this, if someone blinds you from the rear. Uh, I think warm lights, yes, and emergency call there. For two meter tall person, 6.6 in feet, plenty of headroom if you adjust. And uh, this is in Czech Republic, price and spec. 
So you can see parcels or packages in the back. Yeah, that's it. Um, and let me get to the front. So I'll just show that the other one uh, has power controlled side mirrors there and then uh, we're gonna come back to the spec sheet so let me just show you this one that's the only difference you have this switch in there and again it it looks the same inside so actually this should be in neutral for some reason someone left it there and you can see the display and everything looks the same so let me just uh, see here so they, they've added rubber there let me just for the Czech audience uh, I have a separate in-depth review and test drives of this car, so just those who are from Czech Republic to show you that. And check the rear, if I was correct about the cover. Yeah, see, there's no cover here, like in the cargo version. I think they should have added that one uh, on this model and the step on this one. So, now let's check here. So, business car, there's some pictures here. Future of mobility for cargo and so on. So this might be interesting for postal service or, I don't know, uh, something's wrong with the, um, with the display here. Oh, actually, so this would be the standard model. Okay, this is the, you can see the spec here. So this is the cargo spring. And then this is the normal, just for those who might be interested in the Czech Republic. On the channel, there's a separate review. And to finish and make it in depth. Um, yeah, uh, okay, so charging cable open here and bonnet open there. Uh, this one's for the fogs, fog lights. Which I think are on the rear, but you have them on the front as well. Charge port uh, open to the side. The first generation had it opening up. You have the AC and then combined DC. I think it's up to 50 kilowatts. And over here, let me see. On the top, push to the left. Excuse, excuse me, uh, it's not on the top, it's here. Push to the left and uh, that's it. That's the electric motor, it's a front wheel drive. And I think they could have made some, a little front here for the cables. But uh, it is what it is. Uh, washer fluid. Let me see here. Where is hidden? Um, this one's antifreeze, so that's not it. Actually, wait, it is washer fluid. Huh. Okay, it's a pink color, so it's gonna kind of, uh, confuse me. But uh, there you go. That was the Dacia Spring Cargo. So if you like this video, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel. And click the bell to get notified. Uh, check out this review, separate video on the channel. And thanks for watching. Stay safe. See you in the next one. Bye.